Windows. Windows is the most widely used operating system in the world, created by Microsoft. It was first released in 1985 as Windows 1.0. Originally, it was just a graphical interface running on top of MS-DOS. Everything looked very basic at first, but over time it evolved into a full-fledged operating system, with major versions like Windows 95, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 10, and now Windows 11. What makes Windows stand out is its versatility and widespread compatibility. Windows can run on almost any PC or any laptop brand, and it's capable of various computing purposes, from hardcore gaming to office work, and even programming as well. And Windows OS has a user-friendly interface, making it easy for beginners. However, Windows can be troublesome as well. Its hefty system requirements can make older or weaker hardware feel sluggish. It's also infamous for frequent updates, which while meant to improve performance often feels intrusive, and sometimes it can lead to an infinite Windows update loop. Security is another concern. Because Windows is the most widely used OS, it's also the biggest target for viruses and malware. And of course, there's the legendary blue screen of death. In fact, this problem has been around since Windows 1.0. Mac OS. Mac OS was introduced in 2001 by Apple as the operating system for Mac computers. Unlike Windows, which runs on various brands of PCs, Mac OS is exclusive to Apple devices like MacBooks and iMacs. This tight control over hardware and software makes Mac OS extremely stable, smooth, and well-optimized. It's especially popular among creative professionals, including video editors, graphic designers, and even musicians. It's all thanks to Apple's powerful built-in apps like Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, and GarageBand. One of macOS's biggest advantages is that, if you own an iPhone or iPad, macOS lets you sync messages, calls, and files seamlessly. Also, there are no frequent forced updates or crashes like Windows. And the battery can last longer as well. But despite the advantages, macOS has some downsides as well. Since it only works on Apple computers, users are forced to buy expensive Mac hardware, which can be a deal breaker for budget-conscious buyers. Another major issue is gaming, because macOS devices don't have DirectX and powerful GPUs or graphics cards. Additionally, some professional software isn't available. If available, it's a limited version. Linux. Unlike Windows or macOS, Linux is not a single operating system, but a family of operating systems known as distro or distribution. It was created in 1991 by Linus Torvalds, a Finnish software engineer who wanted to make a free and open source alternative to the other operating systems. Unlike Windows, which needs high system requirements or the expensive macOS devices, Linux is lightweight, secure, and doesn't require expensive hardware, which is why it can run on many older computers and high-performance servers. And since it's open source, anyone can modify or build their own version of it, which is why there are many Linux distros. Some are designed for regular users, like Ubuntu and Fedora, while others are built for servers and professionals, like CentOS and Debian. This capability made Linux widely used for programming, cybersecurity, and server management. In fact, websites and some powerful computers of Google, Facebook, and even NASA's systems run on Linux servers. However, Linux is not beginner-friendly. Since it's very different from Windows and Mac OS, new users often struggle with its interface, especially because many Linux distros rely on text-based commands instead of graphical menus. Another issue is software compatibility. Most mainstream apps and games are built for Windows or Mac OS, so users need to find alternatives. So yeah, that's why people don't use Linux unless they're kind of experts. Chrome OS. Chrome OS was developed by Google and was first released in 2011 as a lightweight and cloud-based operating system. Unlike Windows or Mac OS, which rely on installing software directly onto a computer, Chrome OS is designed to work primarily with the internet, making it perfect for users who spend most of their time browsing, streaming, and using web apps. It comes pre-installed on Chromebooks, which are affordable and fast laptops and suitable for schools and office work. Chrome OS also boots up in seconds and has automatic updates in the background. It is also highly secure because most tasks are handled and saved on Google servers rather than on the device itself, meaning there's less exposure to malware or system corruption. It also has access to the Google Play Store, allowing users to install Android apps, making it more versatile than a basic web browser. But Chrome OS has weaknesses as well. Since it's heavily internet dependent, it doesn't work well without an active connection. 
It also lacks support for many desktop applications like full versions of Adobe Photoshop or professional video editing software. They're also not ideal for high-end gaming unless you use a cloud gaming service like GeForce Now, which depends on fast internet as well. Also, you can't do heavy multitasking too, like opening Photoshop while doing video editing is nearly impossible. Android. Android is an open source OS developed by Google and is the world's most popular mobile OS. It is used by multiple brands, including Samsung, Xiaomi, and many more. Something cool about Android is we can change themes, install third-party launchers, and customize almost every aspect of the system. Unlike iOS, which has a lockdown interface, it also has Google Play Store, which offers millions of apps and games. And Android allows you to find a variety of budget-friendly phones, as well as high-end flagship models with powerful specs. However, Android has some drawbacks. Not all devices get regular updates. This can lead to issues like slower performance over time and security risks on outdated devices. Another problem is bloatware, where manufacturers pre-install unnecessary apps that can't be removed. Also, while Android is powerful, it's generally less optimized than iOS, meaning that some apps can be laggy on Android, but smoother on iPhones. iOS iOS was developed by Apple and is the operating system that powers iPhones and iPads. Unlike Android, which is open source and used by multiple brands, iOS is exclusive to Apple devices, giving Apple complete control over both the hardware and software. iOS devices are stable and have long-term software support. Even older iPhones receive updates for years. The App Store also offers a highly curated selection of apps, with many developers prioritizing iOS for new releases due to its higher security standards and paying user base. Additionally, the iOS ecosystem allows Apple devices like MacBooks, iPhones, iPads, and Apple Watches to connect seamlessly together. But iOS has its downsides. It is highly restrictive because users can't even customize their home screens as freely, install apps from outside the App Store, or easily transfer files without Apple's ecosystem iPhones also lack expandable storage and a headphone jack, and iOS devices tend to be expensive, while Apple tends to reuse the same thing for multiple iPhone generations. Unix Unix is one of the oldest operating systems and the one that gave birth to many modern operating systems. Originally developed in the late 1960s at Bell Labs by AT&T, and it was designed as a multi-user, multitasking OS, mainly for servers and high-end computing. Unlike the popular modern operating systems, Unix is rarely used by everyday consumers. It's usually used to handle large workloads of big corporate servers, banking systems, and scientific research. For example, the National Weather Service uses Unix-based systems to manage and process massive amounts of meteorological data, which are essential for weather forecasting. By the way, Unix installation is very expensive at $1,407 for every user. This means that if you have a big company with 250 users, a full Unix deployment would cost more than $350,000. BSD, Berkeley Software Distribution, is a family of operating systems that originated from Unix, developed at the University of California, Berkeley in the 1970s. Unlike commercial operating systems, BSD is usually used by tech experts for servers, networking, and embedded systems rather than consumer laptops or desktops. Examples of BSD-based operating systems are PlayStation 4 and 5, Netflix's content delivery network, and also firewalls like PFSense and OPNSense. It's all because of BSD's efficient resource management and its ability to handle a lot of work. By the way, BSD has several versions, including FreeBSD, OpenBSD, and NetBSD, 